Hello everybody, welcome to The Andy Show, Andy here, and just a real quick update, uh, I will be sending a wire this coming Monday, so either probably Wednesday, possibly Thursday, you can expect to see a new chart from our account with more shares in it, so uh, this is really an update to say there is going to be an update, but I know a lot of people are wondering, haven't heard from me in a while, so I just wanted to let you know uh, it's getting a little bit busier with blocks. It was a slowdown for about a month, maybe a little longer, but uh, nothing unexpected, nothing that's going to affect anything, and the news uh, still seems positive over there. Nothing that can be directly related to what we're looking for but as long as everything is still going in a positive direction that's what we want to see uh, uh, from moving into more of uh, electronic data things like that as they progress then it's definitely not bad for us and we just need to continue to to wait. I mean, we have no choice, do we? But uh, uh, some of you are getting, seem to be getting frustrated. I know it's a little disappointing that it hasn't happened near as fast as we expected. We don't know their timeline, guys, and our wishful thinking is not going to make it happen any faster. So I'm just basically just appealing to you, just be patient. Everything will work out in the end. Everything will work out great. So we just have to maintain a positive attitude, get on with our lives. Uh, you know, if, if building this investment is something you want to do, do it. Uh, don't let any news sway you one way or the other because as positive as, that, positive as it looks, even as negative as some news has been in the past, we don't know how that affects the rate, how that is going to affect the date they finally make this happen. We don't know any of that. So good news, bad news in Iraq is not necessarily a good or bad thing. We just, we don't know how any of it truly applies to our investment. So we'll just go with what we can. Uh, if anything really massive happens, of course, that I'll get it out to you as quickly as I can. But there's there's been various things happening, but since it doesn't directly impact what we're wanting, I just don't have a need to keep supplying you with all the happenings in Iraq. I think Kurdistan and, and uh, uh, Erbil have finally met. I'm not 100% positive on that, but... I think payments are going through. Everything is looking good as far as Baghdad and Erbil. Is that what we're waiting on? Who knows? It's a, I think it's part of the equation, but it's definitely not a determining factor. And again, this is only, only my opinion. And several may disagree with me. And I, that's fine. I believe Iraq has a plan in order. We're not privy to what that plan consists of. So we don't know what articles will impact what we're waiting on. We have no clue and trying to read something into every article just feeds that need for hopium. And I'm, I, I have never been one to try to feed into that. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna say, well, you know, here's what happened in Baghdad today. So look out, you know, this is this is a, a great, great thing and get you all excited only to find out a week or two passes, nothing happens. Then we're back down in that slump. Now, everything happening, I believe it is all happening in a specific order. And anybody that says they've got to be this or they've got to be that or they need this or they need that they're full of it they don't know what they're talking about yeah it might be a very simple part of the equation 
But when they tell you this has to happen in order for the dinar to revalue, show me. Show me the, the list of things that have to happen for the dinar to revalue. You know, it, it, it gets a little frustrating because people are on pins and needles for information when none of it is going to have a significant difference in the timing. Okay, I'm not saying that anything that happens is not important or more important, less important than something else. But if you've got anybody that's telling you A, B, and C has to happen for D, E, and F to take place, and once that happens, you know, H, I, and J have to do this, they have no clue. They truly do not have a clue. You're wasting your time listening. If you feed on the hopium and, and the, the bogus talk, because there is no list out there that says in order for the dinar to revalue, A, B, and C have to happen. Show me the list. Show me where the, if, if they're talking about for it to revalue, then we know 100% that it is going to revalue. Right? There is no list out there. There's no specific timeline. There's no specific order that we're aware of. Does the central bank or the government or in coordination with each other, do they have a specific plan of goals to achieve and events to take place prior to? It, more than likely, yeah. They know what they're doing. They know when they're going to do it. Uh, does something get it? I've heard so many times in the past. Well, you know, this, did this, this has caused them to delay it again. How did it cause it to delay it? That, in order for it to delay, doesn't there have to be a date set? Doesn't there have to be a, a precedent to have a date in the first place for something to cause a delay? Again, nobody knows anything, and Iraq is certainly not discussing it with us. So just be patient. It's going to happen when it happens. And nothing, no matter how excited or how depressed we get, none of it is going to affect the ultimate outcome of the revaluation. So if, if you're a, a news junkie and you've got to have all that to make yourself feel better about it, or you just, you know, a lot of people, I, I get it. I was like that for years. But just have that need to, to keep up with what's going on in order... I, it gets them through the day, and, and that's fine. But if you're looking for news to give you a clue as to when it's going to revalue, you're wasting your time listening to anybody about any of it. Okay? And that's just, again, that's my personal opinion. I don't really watch a lot of the news anymore. I don't listen to anybody else rarely. And because I know, in my heart of hearts, I know without having anything factual to base it on, that the Iraqi dinar is going to revalue. I just know it. I wouldn't be invested in it. Is it that I know it or that I'm hoping for it? I don't know. Is it not the same? I don't know. But nothing I read, nothing, uh, no video I watch, no person that I listen to is going to make it happen any faster. And with having so many other irons in the fire right now i just i'm don't reach out to me for news or information because i just don't have it i'll provide you the information on the stocks that we own the value of the stocks that we own things to do with the investment itself but as far as news about iraq and keeping you posted about the happenings in iraq I apologize, I'm just not going to do it, okay? And I've, I've had a number of requests asking if I'll get some news out to people, and I'm, there are plenty of other people out there doing that. You don't need me to feed that to you, okay? I mean, you are you can go on and uh, go to the list. It's on our website. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a list of, of Iraqi newspaper links, and you're welcome to go and... and Spend as much time as you want looking at various websites and seeing what things are happening. Uh, one great resource, they post tons of articles, is search the number four dinar or WordPress dot search for dinar 
dot com. I don't know. Uh, Pimpy has it up on his site, I think, or used to. And but it search for dinar dot com. And if you Google it, I'm sure something will come up that you can find it. But they list tons of articles every day. I don't need to. I don't need to feed that to you. Uh, so that being said, I will be sending a wire Monday. So Wednesday, possibly Thursday, we should have an update on our stock list, our net asset value, all that good stuff. So I'll bring that to you as quick as I can. Uh, it may be a little late. Next week I have to uh, do both my job and somebody else's job at my real job. And I'm going to be swamped. So I'll, I'll do it as quickly as I can, but I just it's not going to be as quickly as I can get the information from them. I will do it when I get time. I mean, I, <laughs> I hate to say that, but I will update you sometime within the day of or immediately the day after our stocks are purchased and our account changes and all that. I'm not trying to put you off. It's just that it's a bad week that the other guy has taken off and I have to do both jobs and it's just, it's going to be a rough week next week, but I will get it to you. Now I want to switch gears and go to uh, the DAC electric vans, uh, Derek Automotive Technologies, I think it is. Uh, I've had a few ask about not only the investment, but the opportunity. And I think all I did was mention that it there's it's a sort of network marketing type thing. Yes, I am an investor. Yes, I am an affiliate. I didn't want to tell people that I was an affiliate because I didn't want to use Woolard Enterprises investors as a means to peddle something else. To me, that's just wrong. I've got a business. You can see the sign, Woolard Enterprises. I am providing that service to you. I get into other investments. This one is a little bit different. And I'll go ahead and put, you know, I think I put the link in the last one. If you choose to become a part of that investment, it has nothing at all to do with Willard Enterprises. I'm not taking your money. I'm not investing for you. I'm not doing any of that. Uh, I think only foolish people would consider sending me their money at an additional fee and expecting me to provide results to them down the road. It makes no logical sense because you're getting nothing better from that than you putting in the 600 bucks through using a coupon code. I mean, you go to the site, the link will be in the description. You put in my True Texas Trust uh, coupon code and the $1,500 certificate you get for $600, you get 100 shares of the company, of common stock shares, I believe. So when this company, if, if they go public, then they could open at 50 cents a share. I don't know. I don't know the number of outstanding shares. I don't know their P.E. ratio. I don't know any numbers for you, okay? So put all that aside. I don't know what their market cap is prior to. I don't know what their market cap will be on the IPO. I don't have any of those answers for you. But at basically what you're doing is you're getting 100 shares for, for $600. Six dollars a share. Does it go to sixty dollars a share? Does it go to six hundred a share? And with any stock, that's basically what you're doing. But now you have a chance to get in pre-IPO. So it's not just announcing that there's going to that they're going on the stock market. And I, I say pre-IPO. I don't know if they're going to be an IPO. I'm not. I don't talk to the owner. I have very little to do with this. I saw it as an investment opportunity. And for 600 bucks, I can take my chance at 100 shares. And hey, if it if it does wonderful, if it goes to hundreds of dollars a share, then for six bucks a share, I might make a little bit. I might not. 
and like I said, I just I invest in uh, several different things, and at some point, one will pay off. You'll lose on some. That's just the way investments go. Now, back to questioning why I didn't share the affiliate thing. I don't want to use this as a pedal machine. That you know, there's 700 roughly investors with Willard Enterprises. I don't want. I don't. I'm not going to come to you and go, "Hey, I've got a great opportunity for you." You know, uh, uh, here's here's this, here's that, here's here's something else you really should get into. No, I'm not telling you you should get into it. It's an opportunity. It's a possibility. It's an investment if you're interested. Now, the affiliate part. If somebody purchases a certificate from me uses my coupon code uses the affiliate link that i'll have in the description yes i will make some money and i hey i'm not against making money but that's not what i'm telling you this for and that's why i didn't put it in the last video but yes i would make 125 bucks now when you do that if you bought a certificate, you too can become an affiliate. There's no additional cost to do it. And when somebody, if you give them your referral link to become a, an affiliate and they sign up, they can now, and that can only happen after they purchase the first the $1,500 discount certificate and get your 100 shares. Okay. When you've signed up and you've invested the 600 bucks and that's paid for taken care of once all that's approved which is pretty quick you can become an affiliate you just let me know hey i want to be an affiliate because i know somebody that i want to sell one to okay great i'm going to send you the affiliate link once i've confirmed that you have invested and then you get to sell to somebody else you're gonna make 125 bucks, okay? Just for spreading the word to make 125, it's not too bad. But okay, now if you signed up, I'm at 125 dollars. So that means now my hundred shares technically only cost me 475 dollars. So 475 a share. If I, if I were to get six people that bought the certificate, my shares didn't cost me a dime. Now, if there is an IPO and they are publicly traded, no matter what happens, I'm making money. So, I mean, it's, the opportunity is there. Oh, and if you sign up under me, I'm going to make a little money. You sign somebody else up, I'm going to make 20 or 25 bucks, something like that, through and Let's say that the person you sold to says, hey, I want to be an affiliate. You send them the affiliate link. They sign one. They're going to make the 125. You're going to make 25. I'm going to make 25. It goes five levels deep. That's the only portion of this whole thing that is semi-multi-level networking, network marketing. Uh, there's no goals. There's no... That I'm aware of, there aren't... You don't become executive diamond and all that i mean that's that's not what it's all about it's just from what i understand it's it's just the company's way to try and build the interest in in what they're going to be producing the more interest the more stock certificates or not stock certificates but the more discount uh certificates the 1500 off that you're actually getting for 600 that you're getting the 100 shares but you've got that 1500 dollars discount for the actual van well the more of those that are distributed prior to they've got you know 10,000 of those out well they've got a demand for 10,000 vehicles that's pretty darn good if it's 20,000 50,000 how much is that worth if and when the company does go public so the higher the demand the more certificates sold which you're actually only you're also investing in that company that demand the increase in 
all of this creates a higher demand commanding a higher price now granted I can promise you that I've dabbled in the stock market for years and a lot of stocks run on emotion rather than fundamentals okay uh, it's there was a XYZ happened over here the oil companies skyrocket jack your oil up didn't hurt them didn't affect them in any way but because it could oh there's a hurricane coming in toward Houston it's it's a week out you'll see gas prices ask not due to terrible terrible administrative policy which is what's happening now I'm talking about just everything running smooth they can tell you that there's a storm coming so they automatically start increasing the price so, I mean, it runs on emotion doesn't always run on facts so there you have it I'll put all the links down there again I just I don't want to be a peddler but I this is a way to answer some of the questions that are coming up if you're interested uh, just shoot me an email give me a call text me something and I'll be happy to work with you other than that y'all have a great weekend God bless you all and I will talk to you soon